In this video, we are going to discuss the probability of mutually exclusive and mutually inclusive events. Pero bago yun, discuss muna natin ano ba yung mutually exclusive at saka mutually inclusive events. So let's start with mutually exclusive events. The union of mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive events mean that the events has no intersection. Wala silang intersection or the events do not have common elements as it is shown in the figure. So, ito po yung union of mutually exclusive events. Ang formula in finding the probability of mutually exclusive events is probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B. So, in other books, instead na or ang gagamitin, this is the same as the probability of A union with B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na to if the two events are mutually exclusive. Wala silang intersection or common elements. Next, the union of mutually inclusive events. Mutually inclusive events are events where there is an intersection. So the shaded part represents the common elements present in event A and event B. And kapag mutually inclusive naman ng events, ang gagamitin naman nating formula is probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A and B. In other references, this can be written as probability of A union with B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection with B. So, dalawang formulas ang gagamitin natin. It depends upon the situation. Kapag mutually exclusive, ito yung formula na gagamitin. Kapag naman mutually inclusive, itong formula ang gagamitin natin. So, let's take some examples. So, this is an example of a mutually exclusive event. Wala silang common elements or intersection. Example number one. A fair die is rolled. What is the probability of getting a 5 or 6? So, dito, alam natin na ang ating sample space ay 6. And if we are going to list down our sample space, ang sample space natin, well, of course, ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, ano daw ang probability na ang makukuha ay 5 or 6? Ang 5 natin, isa lang. Ang 6 natin, isa lang. So, therefore, wala silang common elements or intersection. And that explains bakit sila mutually exclusive events. Dahil sila ay exclusive events, pagpaplasin mo lang yung kanilang corresponding probabilities. So, applying our first formula, probability of 5 or 6 equals probability of 5 plus the probability of getting 6. So, equals. So, ano po ang probability na ang makukuha ay 5? So, ilan ba ang 5 dito sa ating sample space? Isa. Tama. So, ang probability of getting 5 ay 1 over 6. Plus, probability of getting 6. Ilan ang 6 natin sa sample space? Of course, isa lang din. So, ang probability na ang makukuha ay 6 ay 1 over 6 as well. So, to find our answer, Pagpaplasin muna natin si 1 over 6 tsaka 1 over 6. 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, that's equal to 2 over 6. Get the lowest term, lowest term of 2 over 6, our answer is 1 third. Therefore, the probability of getting 5 or 6 is 1 third. 
So, ganun po ang pag-compute ng mutually exclusive events. Next example. Example number 2. What is the probability of getting an ace or a jack in a standard deck of cards? So, ano ba ang mga aces? Ang ace natin or aces ay ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, ace of spades, ace of clubs. Tama? Ang mga jacks naman natin, jack of hearts, jack of diamonds, jack of spades, jack of clubs. So, meron ba silang intersection? Well, of course, wala. Diba? So, dahil wala silang intersection or common elements, sila ay mutually exclusive events. So, gagamitin natin ang, yung unang formula para makompute natin yung ating final answer. So, dito we are asked to find the probability of getting an ace or a jack. Yan. Since they are mutually exclusive, we are going to use our first formula. So, it's just equal to probability of getting an ace plus the probability of getting a jack. By the way, in a standard deck of cards, our sample space, or the cardinality of our sample space is 52. Nama. So, what is the probability of getting an ace? Ilan ba ang aces natin? Apat. So, probability dito is 4 over 52. Plus, ilan naman po ang uh, jacks natin? Apat. So, ang probability of getting a jack is also 4 over 52. So, to find our answer, pagpaplasin na lang po natin ito. 4 over 52 plus uh, 4 over 52, that's equal to 8 over 52. Ayan. So, gagawin natin, lo lowest term na lang natin yung ating Answer. So, 8 over 52, reduce lang natin sa lowest term. Pwede nating i-divide yung taas by 4. So, 8 divided by 4, that's equal to 2. Then, 52 divided by 4, that's equal to 13. Therefore, our answer is 2 over 13. The probability of getting an ace or a jack in a standard deck of cards is 2 over 13. So again, ito yung mutually exclusive events. Walang intersection or common elements. Now, let's deal with an example of mutually inclusive. Ito naman, mutually inclusive events naman. Meaning, there is an intersection or common elements. Example number 3, a fair die is rolled. Uh, by the way, fair means unbiased. So, patas. No? Walang daya yung ating die. A fair die is rolled. What is the probability of getting a number divisible by 2 or 3? In this example, our sample space is 6, tama? Or the cardinality of the sample space is 6. Pag nilista natin yung ating mga uh, outcomes in the sample space, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan. So, in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ano ba yung mga numbers divisible by 2? So, yung mga numbers divisible by 2 ay 2, 4, 6. Tama? 2, 4, 6, ito yung mga numbers divisible by 2. Ano naman yung mga numbers divisible by 3? So, ang mga numbers divisible by 3 naman ay 3 and 6. Napansin ninyo, nagkamuka sila kay... 6. Mayroong common elements. Mayroong intersection. So, kapag mayroong intersection or common elements, that means siya ay mutually inclusive. So, the probability of getting a number divisible by 2 or divisible by 3 We use this formula. Probability of getting a number divisible by 2 plus probability of getting a number divisible by 3 yan, minus the probability of getting a number divisible by 2 and 3. So, ito yung formula natin for mutually inclusive events. Ito na po yung gagamitin natin. 
So that's equal to Ano po ang probability na ang makukuha ay 2? Uh, divisible by 2 rather So ano po yung mga numbers divisible by 2? So ang mga numbers divisible by 2 ay 2, 4, 6 Ilan? Tatlo, tama So ang probability na ang makukuha ay divisible by 2 will be 3 all over 6 Okay, 3 kasi ang mga numbers divisible by 2 ay 2, 4, 6 So tatlo, kaya 3 over 6 Plus what is the probability of getting a number divisible by 3 naman? So, ano ba yung mga divisible by 3? Dito, 3 and 6. So, ilan? Dalawa. So, therefore, ang probability na ang makukuha ay divisible by 3 is 2 all over 6. 2 kasi nga, 3 and 6 lang ang pwede, dalawa. Kaya, 2 over 6 ang probability niya. Minus. Ano po yung number na divisible by 2 and divisible by 3 as well? So, dito, sa ating sample space, yung common element ay 6. Ilan po? Isa. So, ang probability na that the number is divisible by 2 and 3 is 1 all over 6. Ayan. So, probability of getting, uh, getting a number divisible by 2 is 3 over 6. Probability of a number divisible by 3 is 2 over 6. Probability of a number divisible by 2 and 3 is 1 over 6. So, para makuha natin yung answer, simplify na lang natin ito. So, 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6, that's 5 over 6. Tama. Minus 1 over 6. Subtract. 5 minus 1, that's 4. So, ito po ay 4 over 6. 4 over 6, pag nireduce natin sa lowest term, di-divide lang natin yung taas at baba ng 2. 4 divide 2 is 2. 6 divide 2 is 3. Therefore, our final answer is 2 thirds. And this is an example of mutually inclusive events. Ayan. So, pag may mutually inclusive events, meron kang ima-minus yung common na element sa kanila. Let's take another example. Example number 4. What is the probability of getting a king or a, or a heart in a standard deck of cards? So, bakit ba to mutually inclusive? Okay, alamin natin, suriin natin. Ano ba ang mga kings sa standard deck of cards? Ang mga kings natin ay king of diamonds, king of hearts, king of spades, at king of clubs. So, yun po yung mga kings. Tama. Ano naman yung mga hearts? Yung mga hearts natin ay uh, ace of hearts, two of hearts, three of hearts, four of hearts, five of hearts, hanggang ten of hearts, Tapos, Jack of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, King of Hearts. So, napansin ninyo, meron silang intersection. Tama. Ang intersection nila pagdating kay King of Hearts. Tama. So, dahil meron silang intersection, kaya sila mutually inclusive events. Dahil sila ay mutually inclusive events, we are going to use our second formula. So, ipapattern natin sa second formula. The probability of getting a king or a heart will be probability of getting a king plus the probability of getting a heart minus the probability of king na heart and that is king of hearts so this will be our working formula ayan so ano po ang probability na ang makukuha ay king ilan ba ang king sa standard deck of cards ang king natin ay apat so ang probability will be 4 over 52 plus ilan naman po ang hearts sa ating standard deck of cards ang hearts natin ay 13 kasi Alas, dos, tres, cuatro, hanggang gis, jack, queen, king. So, tres sila lahat. So, ang probability of getting a heart is 13 over 52. Minus. Ito yung common sa kanilang dalawa. Yung king of hearts, syempre. Ilan po ang king of hearts sa standard deck of cards? Ang king of hearts ay isa lang. So, ang probability of getting king of hearts is 1 over 52. Now, let's just simplify. So, 4 over, three, uh, 4 over 52 plus 13 over 52, that is 17 over 52. 
minus 1 over 52. Minus na lang natin. Pag sinubtract, 17 over 52 minus 1 over 52, that's 16 over 52. Now, is this in the lowest term? Mukhang hindi pa. So, in lowest term natin, we divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. 16 divided by 4, that's equal to 4 over 52 divided by 4, that's equal to 3. 4 over 13 is in the lowest term, so that means 4 over 13 is our final answer. I hope clear sa inyo yung pagkakaiba ni mutually exclusive at saka ni mutually inclusive events. Thank you for watching!